My physics professor in college studied the universe, loved the universe, studied gas clouds between stars, and studied how would you detect a gas cloud if it's not radiating light? Well, they give off radio waves, all right? And he figured out what kind of radio waves they give off and why. And in this, he gained expertise in the nucleus of the atom. And he discovered that the nucleus can resonate. Depending on the mass of the nucleus, it will, which means depending on what atom it is on the periodic table, it will resonate slightly differently when exposed to the same electromagnetic field. He discovered a new phenomenon in physics called nuclear magnetic resonance. It would then take a clever medical technologist to say, wait a minute, if you can distinguish one heavy atom from another, let me make a machine out of that, put your body in it, and I can then distinguish one kind of tissue from another. And thus was born the magnetic resonance imager, the MRI, arguably the most potent uh, tool in the arsenal of modern medicine where I can diagnose a condition in your body without cutting you open first. That is based on a principle of physics discovered by a physicist who had no interest in medicine.